Hi, I'm Ghosty, and welcome to our monthly roundup where I'll be sharing our favourite indie releases from the past month. I managed to make time for a whole bunch of games throughout May, but these are the ones that definitely stood out for me and I didn't want to put them down. Fabledom is a super laid-back city builder set in a wholesome fairy tale world. As well as building your kingdom, you can take your hero out to investigate all the magical encounters that pop up, such as giants, gnomes, and witches. You can work on your relationships with neighboring kingdoms and even romance them to unlock unique quests and buildings for your kingdom. It's more of a stress-free city builder with no real aim other than growing and sustaining the population. I've enjoyed working out different layouts and decorating, and I think it's a great choice for those new to city builders, or for those who just want a no stress option but still have some resource management to keep on top of. Crypt Master is a bizarre dungeon crawler where your words control everything. Uncover lost abilities by figuring out your forgotten words, solve puzzles, and defeat your enemies with what you type. You do have to think quite a bit with this game. Some enemies you fight will block words with certain letters in, for example, and I didn't realise how bad I am at coming up with random words on the spot. It really does need you to think outside the box sometimes too. Everything about this game, from the art style to the voice acting, is top notch, and it's not just dungeon crawling. You can catch bugs, fish, and play card games, everything just relies on you to type it out. In Paper Trail, you play as Paige, a budding academic leaving home for the first time to pursue her studies. In this top-down puzzle adventure, you fold pages to journey through caves, treetops, and villages, taking in the sights and wonders as you go. Solve puzzles, meet plenty of unique characters, and unfold long-lost secrets to a captivating story. The art is beautiful, taking inspiration from printmaking and watercolour, and I absolutely love the characters' voices in this game. The puzzles aren't super difficult, but there was the odd one that ended up being a real head scratcher. It's a perfect choice for a relaxing day gaming. Pine Hearts is a cozy narrative adventure game about love, life, memories, and family. Explore the great outdoors, learning new skills and acquiring new tools along the way. There are plenty of characters to meet on your journey and you're never short of people to help and quests to complete. I adore watching Tyke run around looking so happy and you can pet the dog which is obviously a big selling point. The story is short but everything about this game is so full of love, it's a joy to play and the music is fantastic. And that's a wrap on our favourite games from May. Don't forget to let us know your favourites below. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all those indie games out there. Bye!